people around the world who aren't familiar maybe with dance music, give us an idea of his significance. Was he such a big name and such a big influence? Uh, I think he was. I think arguably he's one of the most influential uh, dance producers we've had ever. Um, you take one of his records that's been mentioned there in the report, Wake Me Up, and this was quite seismic in the effect it had in two ways. One was the use of vocals uh, with Aloe Black, and he went on to do things with other vocalists such as Chris Martin of Coldplay and many more. And also the fact that he was blending dance music for the first time with uh, folk and country, which just was not known. And, and his, his ability to do that kind of spread the genre beyond its normal audience and yes. especially in places like North America. Yes, yes, and he got a pretty bad reaction, in fact, it must be said when he started right. off. Uh, there were some uh, shows that he did, a friend was telling me about in Miami, where he, uh, the purists didn't like it at all. But nonetheless, you take that uh, single we just mentioned there, and it's sold altogether a lot of copies. We're talking about um, uh, many millions, I forget the exact figure, but we do know that it was number one, not just in the UK, but in 20 countries. And this kind of mass reach and mass appeal, obviously helped by obviously the new way we consume music, streaming, that was a huge part of his success. Yes, exactly. So he was the first uh, EDM DJ to play in uh, Radio City uh, uh, National Music Hall in, in, uh, in New York, which had just not been done before. He was nominated for two Grammys very early on. So it was an awful lot at the beginning of his career. And so, yeah, a lot more could have come. And he retired, of course, from um, touring in, in, in 2016. For, he did mm. have health problems. Yes, he did. Now, obviously, he'll be remembered for his music, but it must be said that uh, he had some problems of his own. Um, uh, it, it, there have been various things said about substance abuse and alcohol abuse, but we'll leave that on one side, apart from its public record that he needed to have gallbladder removed, appendix removed, and I'm sure that probably in some way could not have helped his uh, long life. And getting back to, as you say, the music um, and the man, what will his legacy be? I think it'll be uh, significant. He moved the needle on dance music in quite a major way. And that's what he'll be seen for. You know, some of the tweets that have been coming in from people respecting what he's done. And so, yes, at, at 28 is much too young, obviously, but in terms of his legacy, he's left a heck of a legacy. He just missed the 27 Club, but he's got something to be remembered and look back on. And, and just lastly, have you been surprised by the, the wide range of, of tributes from across the industry? Or is that something actually you think that's a mark of, of what an impact he had? No, it, it is uh, something that's been compared with some people to the likes of Bowie or Prince. Maybe going too far in some respects, but nonetheless, yes, he deserves to be remembered if he wasn't already. Oh, dude, thank you very much for talking to us. I'm sure those tributes will carry on uh, coming in for the rest of the day. But no, for the thank moment, you. thanks very much. A Mexican court has barred sales of a controversial Frida Kahlo Barbie doll, ruling that members of her family owned the sole rights to her image. The doll was launched in March, but provoked anger from some of Kahlo's relatives. You say the manufacturer, Mattel, 